Hi, this is Shamrani from Life Design Topics, and I wanted to make a quick video about this particular topic. I haven't put on my lipstick yet, um, but it's quite serious. Now, the I did a video already. It's about cheaters, you know, and maybe I'll add this as the part two to it, but. It's not only relegated only to people are seen as cheaters, okay? Cheating, it, it's like the name of a law can only apply to you if you go against the law. Like if the law has to apply to you. There are some people that live a little, a little more open, free, uh, excuse me, a more open lifestyle. Um, they live in their particular truth. They um, are in relationships that are accommodating for the type of lifestyle that they want to live. Some people are in um, poly type of relationships. And even those need to be governed a certain way, right? Um, there still needs to be a level of commitment. Commitment to being understood. Commitment to understanding. Commitment to communication, right? Communication to um, healthy commitment to healthy dialogue um, so what people need to realize and you know and and I say this because um, what sparked it was I, I had a, a mentoring uh, I had a, a mentoring session and you know it breaks it breaks many it breaks many women's hearts right so this is this is what hurts me the most even as an interior designer it's like the fact that people just feel like a different level of betrayal here is just the mere fact of it um if i'm a girl that likes twinkies right my inner fat girl is just always rearing her head no matter what and i don't have the discipline to say okay today i'm gonna choose not to have this today okay you there's there's nothing governing you um, being the lady in the post on social media saying, you know, oh, I want my man to, uh, you know, support me and, you know, you want somebody to like walk you and hand, hold your hand and take you to the gym and hold your hand while you're on a treadmill. No, it, it's going to take some level of kind of discipline for you to get to that place where it's like, you know what? I do want to go to the gym. All right. I won't give myself an hour. Maybe I'll just start it with 15 minutes every day. Right. That's what I recommend. Okay, that that's something that's important to add with this is, you know, there's ways to develop great habits. Um, me personally, like I really like going to the gym. Um, I just started getting to like a, a regular, a regular routine of making sure that I'm getting physical energy outside of the gym, right? Just being able to do it at home. But I have found ways to motivate myself in good company to do so. So... For you, it's going to take personal discipline to say, okay, uh, it's f find what your sweet spot is of the day. Some people, you know that you don't like exercising and you know that your energy is low after 3 p.m., but then you want to go to the gym and then you talk yourself out of getting to the gym after you've already pulled into the driveway, after you already pulled into the parking lot, okay, later in the afternoon. No, you have to find a, you have to figure out like what is the optimal time that you know, like, you know what? This is where I know I can put the, the good, good pressure on myself and I know that I can get it done. When it comes to cheating in the, sake of, in the sense of relationships, you have to think like, did that person have self-control and discipline before the marriage happened? Or the cohabitation, right? You gotta think about like, how do we get to the place where we're cohabitating with each other? You know, why can't I have my place and he has his place? All right. You may have to kind of like examine even what your weak spot is that led you to be housed together without um, without a plan of making it official or whatever. If you feel like you never want to get married and you just want to be live, you just want to live with your person. Okay. All right, that's no problem. But what I need people to understand is if an individual had no discipline over themselves, over their sexuality, over, you know, their time, they are just, you know, they're just kind of like winging it every other 
position of their life, why is it that we would assume that that person is going to have discipline automatically after you, you put a ring on the hand and you say, I do? That means nothing. God, people are not going to like to hear that, but that is just the reality of it. There had to have been a commitment from the very beginning. Let me give you an example. Me, before I even had children, before I got pregnant with my children, I was already committed to co-parenting with my partner for the children that I had. I was already committed to that, right? Because if you want to say, I'm going to have children, this happens to a lot of women where the men will just pick up and leave as if like the children don't need both parents. And what that is, is that it was somebody who wasn't committed. He wasn't committed to having a family from the beginning. No, you saw the yellow flag. You saw the red flag that was thrown on the field. You chose to ignore it or you chose or you figured that it was going to salvage itself or fix itself on the way to whatever ended up happening. The pound of flesh is always taken, guys. Whether now, whether 15 years from now, it will be collected, okay? So I was committed before having my children, right? I did a video about mothering. This is the same thing. It's like you, you cannot be worried about, you, you cannot you know, be confused as to why you are having trouble conceiving or whatever, or whatever the sensitivity is of, around that, right? Because many people, you know, in, in their doctor, they trust, they have no, they have no, uh, faith in themselves and in their body and what the body can do. Okay. So when they go through that kind of situation, it's like, okay, it just poof, just for no reason. No, my friend, if the individual could not make a commitment to what they expected of you, the agreement was monogamy. You see me, I see you, right? I'm not bringing any, I'm not bringing any brothers. You're not bringing any sisters. Very, very simple. Okay. You're wondering where that little came from. It, it came from somewhere. And I, I hold on to with like, like a Bible. I do because I'm a firm believer in that. That's me personally, right? But you have to get to the place where you got to be clear when you're communicating with this with this said individual. Like, are we really on the same page? Are we equally yoked when it comes to the idea of having children and um, being able to raise our children together? And what would our relationship look like? And X, Y, and Z. No, I didn't. I didn't have any intention of like my family breaking up. Right. I didn't have any intention of my family breaking up, but for me, in retrospect, my family is not broken up because we are still quite close, right? Regardless of whatever my toxic, you know, in-laws would like to see, we are still quite close, right? No matter if, you know, they find a way to, you know, inject some to toxicity, you know, in my ex-husband and then he's acting weird for a few months, but he, he comes around, Right? We're still quite close. I, I made a commitment, me. I made a commitment. We made a commitment that when we have children, this is what we want for our children. You have to make that commitment from the beginning. And you cannot assume that a guy that you're dating, he cannot even take you seriously in your relationship. All of a sudden, you think he's going to take you seriously because there's a baby. No, that individual that pretends as if everything is going to be okay all of a sudden when you're pregnant and it, and it was completely unhealthy, it was an unhealthy connection all along while you were dating, um, it, you're gonna, it's going to rear its ugly head all over again, all over again, unfortunately. Okay, so let's not have unrealistic expectations. Let's hold people accountable when they say what they, what they, you know, what they say. We hold them to what they are insinuating that they're mean. You, we would want you to mean what you say and say what you mean. You as a woman, think about it. Do you really, really want to be a woman? Do you really want to be a mother? Excuse me, not be a woman. Do you really, really want to be a mother? Like you have a heart of a mother? Because if you have a heart of a mother, I promise you, it's not going to matter if somebody comes or stays or goes or leaves or dips in and out or, you know, conducts, you know, the arrangements of the other extended family, um, you know, or, or have other mothers that have children for them and all of that. If you're really, really, really a mother... I promise you, the other woman that has children already with the man that you, she's not, she's, you don't have to, trust me, she's not your enemy. 
okay? The, the collective goal needs to be that the children are healthy, that the children have healthy connections with their parents, okay? With their father, if, even if that happens to be your husband, okay? And then there's some women out there that, you know, they don't, they, in, in their heart of hearts, they really don't want to date a guy that has kids and then they get caught up with dating a guy that has kids. Why? Because the sex was good? That's not reason enough, sis. That was fun for that. And if you want to be with a man that does not have children, you can totally manifest it. Okay? The things we learn, the webs we weave, the things we learn as we get older. I'm going to tell you a quick little funny thing. When I... When I, you know, was newly separated and divorced and all that, all of a sudden I'm a mom with two children. I have me right now today, as I'm standing here, sitting here with you, talking to you, I know no less than 10 men that do not have children that are my age or even a little older. 10. They're like somewhere around my age group, okay? They're like in their late 30s. They are older than I am. I even, I even met a man, I think he's, uh, he's, he lives in Fort Lauderdale, somewhere in Broward, and he's 50 and does not have any, and he has intentions of having children one day. Oh, well, you know, you know how far that conversation is going with me. Okay. But he is happily enjoying his singlehood and he is happily actively looking for somebody to start a family with. Okay. If you do not want a man with children already, you put that out there. Don't settle for something that doesn't look like what it is you want. I know women, I personally am friends with women that have their own children and they do not date men that have children already. I know that. And you're like, where are they finding these men at? I kid you not because I remember when I didn't have a chick or child to worry about, I felt like I couldn't meet one man that didn't have kids already. You know, even the man that I manifested is still, you know, friends with 20 years later, you know, like I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it that by the time it's like I've come on the scene, it's like this is what's happening, but it could have totally been manifested. Like it, it exists, it's there, all right? So be committed to yourself. Be committed to what it is that you want. Don't slide on it. Don't slide on, you know, exceptions for things because people want to be, some people are just hopeless romantics and they think like, oh, you know, this will grow on me. If you feel like you're going to have a change of heart because that person is really growing on you, then take some time to yourself, do a lot of self-reflection, prayer, do some meditation, you know, maybe read about or watch other people's stories that have went through that and what that transition looked like for them. And decide if that's going to be something that will work for you. But do not force yourself into a, a, an arrangement that is not going to be the best for you, okay? And people just don't, if, if you're expecting monogamy and that's the arrangement, and the person was exhibiting signs of, you know, difficulty of being able to just be committed to other things, don't automatically, accept, you know, think that they are going to be, poof, just cured, 